Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to do a practical. We are going to see how actually we can copy a data from Azure Blob Storage to Azure SQL Database. So we have a business requirement. First we will try to understand the business requirement. Then we will think about the solutioning part and then we will do a practical. So let us understand. We have a data that is available in a Blob Storage as a CSV format. So in a storage, in a blob storage, CSV data is available. That data you have to copy into the Azure SQL. So whatever the data is available in a blob storage CSV data, that data you have to copy into the Azure SQL in a tabular structure. So that is the requirement we have and we have to create a data factory pipeline for that. In real time also you will get a scenario like this where you have a data is available in one storage account as a CSV, JSON or any other format and that data you have to copy into the SQL database in a tabular structure. So for that you have to create a pipeline. If you get this kind of the requirement, what kind of the step you have to follow, let's try to understand, let's think about the solutioning part. So first thing you have to define, you have to understand what is your source. So my source is a blob storage as a CSV for what is my target? My target is SQL database tabular format. So first you have to think about the what is your source. Then you have to think about what is your seeing or target. So that part is clear, right? Now next thing you have to think because we are going to copy the data in a tabular structure. So for that you have to create a schema for that schema for that first you have to look your file what file is available into the blob storage so let me show you the file first so this is the file which is available in a blob storage employee id name salary address location email this kind of the file we are getting now if you had to copy this data into the sql database so for first thing you had to create a table for that you had to create a schema for that table schema for that what is schema means I will define a schema like this. So first I will check what is my source file. This is the source file. In this source file I am getting employee id, name, salary, address, location, email, right? So similar kind of the schema I will try to create a table in a Azure SQL database. I will try to define all the column like employee id, name, salary, address, location, email so that the all the data I can store into this particular table in the all the columns. So we have created a schema, we have defined the schema also. Now next thing is like, uh, what activity we are going, we are doing a copy activity. After that we will try to create a data set, one data set we will create for the blob storage, one data set we will create for the Azure SQL database. And to connect with the blob storage we will have one link service and to connect with the Azure SQL database we will have one link service. So that are the stuff we are going to follow. Let's do a practical and let's understand more. So I open my Azure portal.azure.com. I'll go to the my blob storage, storage account. So this is the storage account I have. I have already created a blob storage. If you haven't created blob storage you can click on the create and you can create a blob storage once you will create a blob storage click on this go to the container here we will create one container or we will try to store our file so i will give a container name as a input click on the create in this input container i will try to store my file so that will become my source file in a real time this kind of the thing will already be available because we are doing a practical right so we are doing trying to do a setup for all so i'll try to copy we are i'll try to upload this file click on the upload so this is the file which i uploaded into the blob storage if i'll show you i'll go to the add, click on the preview now you can see we are able to see a data so our source is now ready now what is the next thing next thing is the sql database so I will search for the SQL, open in a new tab. So how to create a SQL database that we have already covered in a last video. If you haven't created a SQL database, first thing is like you have to create a database. Please do watch the previous video where we have covered how to create a SQL database. Once you will create a SQL database, click on this. After that we have to go into the query editor. You have to pass username and the password. Click on the OK. Now you can see we have a Azure SQL database. Here we can create a table. So you can see in a table all the tables are available. 
but what actually we are going to do we are going to first create a employee table so i'll copy this i'll try to paste here and i'll try to run this once you will run you can see query succeed zero run select star from employee I shouldn't get any error you can see we have a file uh, we have created a table and that employee table should be available here so let me refresh this you can see this is the employee table we have created so we have created an employee table so that will become our target location now what we have to do we have to create one data pipeline which will copy a data which is available into the csv file into this particular table employee table as of now there is no data available into this particular table so how that this data will come we create a data pipeline that will copy a data from a csv to this particular table so for that we have to create a azure data factory so i'll first search for the data factory open in a new tab so you can see this is the data factory i have created i will click on this click on the launch studio now we'll try to create a data pipeline for that now in data factory once you'll open this particular screen you will see you have to go into the author now come to the pipeline we are going to create a pipeline so click on this click on the new pipeline now the first option move and transform you can see copy data because we are performing a copy data from a blob storage to the sql database right so i will select a copy data here i will just click and the drag here now you can give any name so i will give name as a blob to the sql so that i can understand what actually this pipeline will do blob to the sql after that we have to set up a source and the sync you can see the source and the sync right what is our source so source is the blob storage source is the blob storage so for that we have to create a data set so what we will do we will create a data set click on the new my data is available in a blob storage so i will select a blob storage here you can see we have a multiple option so what you can do in a search you can search blob storage click on this continue which format your file is csv format so i will select that click on the continue after that we have to create a link service so that we can connect with our source click on the new give a name blob a link service after that you have to select your subscription you have to select your storage account after that test your connection whether you are able to establish a connection or not if it is successful then click on the create after that you have to specify your file path so i'll give the input and this particular file if you have a multiple file then you can give star.csv so it will take all the csv format data that also we can do now i'll select first row as header click on the ok now your source is ready your data set for the source is ready how actually you will verify it's working fine or not click on this preview data once you will click on the preview data you shouldn't get any error if you are getting error means there is something fishy in your source creation so click on the preview data you should be able to see your data because in a source we already have data right so we can we are able to see we have employee id name salary address location email means our source is now ready now what we have to do we have to do a setup for the sync so for the sync also what we have to do we have to create a data set so i will click on the new data set sync data set what is my data set data set is azure sql database so i'll search sql database you can see azure sql database i select this continue for this also we have to create a link service so that we will be able to connect with our sql database here we have to pass a subscription you have to pass a server name this is the server and you have to pass the database name so this is the database we have created so i will pass the server name database name and the sql authentication your username and the password so i will give my username and the password 
and I will try to test the connection. Testing connection is important because if any error here only it is coming means you can uh, debug like it is a link service issue. You can de debug like in database or server any kind of the issue is there. Now click on the create. Now link service is ready. Now you can see you have a table name. So here you will be able to see all your table. So what is your target table? Target table is implied. This is the table we have created. So I'll select this. Click on the OK. Now my target is also ready. Because as of now in target there is no data. Means our source is ready. Our target is ready. Source we are able to preview our data. In sync there is no data. But once you will run a pipeline we will be able to see a data now after that what you have to do click on the validate if any error comes here it will come click on the validate all click on the publish all click on the publish now we'll try to run a pipeline and we'll try to see whether our pipeline is running fine or not whether it is copying our data from a blob to the sql or not first thing you have to publish it and after that you can see publish is completed after that you have to click on the add trigger and we have a two option trigger now and the new edit we'll see about this also in depth first we will click on the trigger now because we are running a pipeline so if you have to run manually so you can click on the trigger now now your pipeline is started if you want to monitor left side go to the monitor and here you will be able to see your pipeline so this is the pipeline which is running and here it is giving a status as a in progress once it will complete once it is succeed then you should be able to see your data in a SQL database if any kind of the error comes then the failure message will come so let's wait whether our pipeline is working fine or not you can see the it is coming as a failed now let's try to debug so how actually you can do debug click on the error error is saying like operation on blob to the sql fail failure happen on sync side means our target side there is problem in invalid column name the column loc is not found in the target the column name is not found that actually it is showing saying now i will go to the my pipeline I'll click on this copy data. What you have to do? Click on the mapping. Click on, click on the import schema. Now you should be able to see all the mappings are fine or not. So you can see employee ID from the source is mapping with the destination. Name is mapping with the name. Salary is mapping with the salary. Address is mapping with the address. But the, for location there is no mapping. So I'll click here. I select the LOC. LOC is mapping with the location, email is mapping with the location. So that's how we have to debug. We have to uh, select the mapping properly. Now, this means employee ID data should go into the employee ID, LOC data should go into the location column, email data should go into the email column. After that, once you do a changes, click on the publish all. Click on the publish. Publish is completed. Now click on the add trigger. Trigger now click on the ok go to the monitor now you can see it is in progress so let's wait and let's see if any other error comes then also we will debug debug is important because while debugging only we will learn more so you can see now it is succeed means our data should be available there so I'll go to the database now if I'll try to run a select star from employee, I should see a data. Click on run. Now you can see in our employee table, we have a data available. And that is exactly same what we have in a SQL data, SQL CSV. That is exactly same what we have in a CSV file. All the data actually got copied. Location and email, you can't see any data because in a source file also you will see location and email is blank. So that's how we had to create a pipeline and we had to debug. I hope you got idea.